The Lord says, Warn them for me, those who despise my letters and my word. Trumpet call of God. November 3rd, 2009. From the Lord, our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear regarding the churches of men. Thus says the Lord to his servants, those who are being sent into battle, my shepherds whom I have set up and shall establish, those who shall shepherd the wild of my flock, and prepare my way before me. My sons, correct them sharply and warn them from me. Let the division be concluded, let it be made clear. For as I am, says the Lord God, so shall I be and have always been. I cannot be moved and neither shall my servants. I am the Lord. Therefore, warn them from me, for all who hate my letters and despise my word written in these volumes, who also refuse my correction, contend not with men, but with the Lord their God, even to the polluting of my name, as they walk together in their arrogant accord. For in the name of pride, they do closely adhere to every perverse tradition of their forefathers as they follow after every deceitful wind of doctrine which tickles their ears, of which I hate. Their works are detestable to me. I loathe the sight of them. I can bear the ways of this people no longer, nor will I hear them any more. Again, I say, warn them from me, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, make my word known. Strike quickly with the sword I have given you, for the word of the Lord is indeed quick and powerful and very sharp, and by it shall the multitudes be divided. Behold, they have divided themselves already, according to that which dwells within their hearts. For they have cast their lot with men and the deceiver, refusing the Lord's correction and those truths which are self-evident in the eyes of all who know me and in whom I dwell. Therefore, I will no more listen to all these controversies brought forth from the lips of those who call of themselves Christian, who dwell in the midst of all these worldly churches of men, whose doctrines and traditions I hate. No more will I allow their perverse disputings to continue, for they do fight against me. I shall turn to them the back and not the front. I shall hide my face from them, for I do not know them. Lawless people, purveyors of lies, false witnesses who cease not from polluting my name and my glory. Therefore, they shall be left desolate, standing alone in the place they said they would never be, refinement and the day of the Lord, a day of abasement and great humbling, the day the truly penitent are uplifted, a day of bewilderment and many tears, the day of heavy sorrows and gnashing of teeth. For I must give correction and impart judgment or how shall I gather them? Thus brokenness shall be their companion in the day of the Lord's anger. For my anger shall not be turned away from them until they say, Blessed are the feet of those whom the Lord sends, for they have received a message from God. We will give heed to their speech and pay close attention to their every proclamation. We repent, O Lord, in dust and ashes. I am the Lord, and though I bruise, I will surely heal, and though I pour out strong judgment, I will also show mercy, 
and though I afflict, I will also bring relief and much comfort. For all appointed to captivity shall go into captivity, yet I will deliver them, even all who call on the name of the Lord in that day. And though many will be brought low, even down to the depths of darkness and despair. Behold, from the depths I shall raise them up, even high above the heavens. Even from the ashes shall I bring them forth, and they shall give me perfect praise in the tabernacle of my glory. And so it is fulfilled, and shall also come to pass. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first partakers of the glory. Yet all will be saved. According to the number the Lord shall call.